Hello everyone, my name is Om Saigasong. This is Android Camera Information Tutorial 2017. In this video, I will show you how to create Android Camera app that works on Nougat, Marshmallow, KitKat, and Jelly Bean. Okay, first let's create a project, but this time we will use the Android 6, uh, the Marshmallow because the Marshmallow has the requirement which is different from uh, the older Androids That's why we have to focus on that in this video and just run on the new um, API, the 24 or 25 Okay, that will work So this is a typical uh, Android app, okay and nothing special and now we want to help the uh, like a button and the image but uh, to speed up our process uh, we will use the linear layout and just change the tag view to the button because Justin want to create a new one that I just call open camera and this one we don't need that uh, and for the linear layout, we need orientation. That's why we have to use that. And also, we need uh, image view. Okay, so if you don't know how to write a code, maybe you can drag it. So here is the image view. And choose a default uh, image. And I need a scroll view because sometimes the image is very big. But actually, in this particular tutorial, the image is not that big yet. Uh, we have to change it uh, in the later tutorial. But um, in case you want to use the same code, okay. And that's it, I think. But uh, we need um, like the ID for the take view. Let's call it TV uh, Open Camera. Yes. And for the image, um, we need the ID too. So I call IV pick. And as usual, we will create the, um, the variable, you know, to store the tag view and the email view. And we store it outside because we will use it in another method um, beside the on create. That's why we need to uh, declare it outside like that. And we need to grab it from the find view by id uh, tag view find view by id and then call the id tv open camera and i will pick the same thing but just change the image view find view by id all that id i will pick okay and after that we can um, set the on click um, click listener to the TV open camera we will use the anonymous class there and then we need to call the camera but the camera is not like before if you saw my previous video it just straight forward okay but this one we need uh, the permission so first we have to call if compact dot check cell permission and you need to put the um, the class um, you know as the first parameter and the second one is the permission and uh, maybe you can recognize the manifest the manifest is the file but now you have to put it inside there and you have to test it if the permission is granted or not okay and the code there is just like that and um, you just copy and paste if you want to uh, use it in your project I will create another method um, just private method when you want to open a camera so I call this page uh, taken picture intent okay just uh, pass it in here okay so if there is something wrong for example there is the permission but then people don't click on allow you know then you uh, can show like an error message okay so we call should show request permission rational with the uh, manifest permission camera and here you can just tell the user anything you want uh, 
in this case we will use toes there's nothing special there so just put some message to the user so we say permission needed uh, just let them know that we want the, the permission okay and length maybe long that is a good one and show okay and that's it for the permission but we will need another thing because this one is just only the uh, cell check but what if like the first time they want to check they want a request so we need to uh, request the permission as well even though they, they you know they deny that then we will pass the permission okay and here we call uh, camera permission again and we send the data and if you have another permission like write external storage you can use after the camera there and we have to create a private um, you know final integer camera result this is uh, very useful and it's very important for the for the you know technique here because uh, the camera result will use when to compare like you know you call from another method to another method we have to know that it is the same camera result okay you can just put the number one or two or zero whatever you want but the the, the variable name is better and then you need to uh, create on request permission result okay and in there you need to uh, check again if the request code is camera result and then the grand result and remember the the, the string that you send from request permissions on the top will go to the grand result you know and we have to check if the length is um, uh, greater than zero and the first uh, you know the first string because uh, it is in array so the first one is zero and if you want to uh, send another one maybe write permission then you can just add another one so uh, maybe manifest permission dot uh, write external storage is a good idea then here we have to check uh, it as well with the uh, array of one okay zero and one and then if uh, there is nothing error then we can do something for example like we can call a dispatch taken uh, picture in again okay but what if there is something wrong okay so we have to show the result to the to the user that our permission is needed so actually it's the same thing you know um, a new mechanism needs this you know like the first one the cell check and here the request permission check okay so this is the new code that you you have to write uh, complement to the old code that I did in another previous video if you want to check my previous video I will put a link on the description down below okay and here if something uh, you know like the request code is not camera result then maybe it's a good idea to call the superclass okay just write down the superclass and request code permission grant results like that okay and now maybe it's time to write the real code the dispatch uh, taken picture intent and here we can call the intent and we want to open the, the camera so inside here we call media store and dot action uh, image capture oops my typo and if the intent uh, dot resolve activity uh, you know if there is uh, okay nothing wrong and you know the, the camera just come then we can uh, get the, the image okay because sometimes the camera is error or so it's a good idea to check that and as you can see the camera result is everywhere okay so here again 
because we start activity for result then we can get the result back so on create uh, on activity result is the place that we will get the picture okay so we have to check if the results code is the result okay so this is the, the result okay is the the building uh, you know constant uh, it's not the one that we created and the request code is the one that we created so camera result here again we have to check with the camera result so as you can see camera result is uh, the one that is very useful and we use everywhere and finally we will get the data from bundle but this one is not the real um, you know image size because we don't store the image we just get a small percentage of the image but this is the first tutorial I just want to show you um, you know step by step I don't want to mix up with another code so we just call bundle.extra dot data get extras and then here the extra dot get data so and then we send to the pipette and the data is very important we have to write data like that okay we cannot write anything else and lastly we just put the image the bitmap that we got into the ivpix so ivpix.set image bitmap and send the bitmap okay and let's see and oh, this i have two okay maybe i have to close one okay so click on the open camera okay now you can see the camera and take the picture and it's a good idea if you uh, use it with a real camera uh, you can use with the Samsung sizing uh, I have the tutorial I will put the link in the description down below let's now test with the uh, Android uh, 4 you know and click on that and there is a error because we set the target to Android 6 remember at the, the time that we create a project so we have to go to uh, Gradle okay uh, the second one not the first one okay the first one is just nothing go to the second one and we change the min SDK version from 23 to 16 okay so just type 16 and click sync now Okay, take some time and run again yes so let's see if uh, the code works on the older version no it's not okay so we have to change something um, go to Android manifest and we have to set the permission because in the older version we, we just need the permission in the manifest and the old the new version we don't need that okay so just check it if the this code works oh uh, okay yes it works okay and take the picture okay now we see the picture okay and maybe it's a good idea to put the you know the requirement for the hardware so we use another code to check if the phone has a camera or not to be honest there is no Android device that comes with uh, without any camera on you know but it's a good idea you know to, to put that so the code is a little bit different um, uses feature Android hardware camera too and we need to require it true and one more thing that we have to change is that the right external storage is only require uh, the SDK, the maximum uh, SDK only 18. Okay. Um, after that, from the 19, we don't need that. Okay. So the codes that you uh, add in the manifest is the requirement for the older Android API. Okay and the code that we wrote before in the java file is the requirement for the newer version of android so we have to write both of that 
So in the next tutorial, I will teach you how to capture picture with the full size but it requires a lot of code, that's why I uh, cut the video in half. So that's it for this video, I hope you like it. If you have any question, just ask me in comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you, and I will see you in the next tutorial.